Hello and welcome everybody to uh, Immaterial Gamers Podcast. I believe it's episode 144. I, I, I forgot to verify, but if it's not, the title will be changed. The audio will not. <laughs> the possibility we might have missed a number at some point? I don't think we missed a number. I just can't remember which one we're on, to be honest. It might, maybe. Let's, maybe. Check, like, let's check every single one podcast if we do still have it. Yeah. I- I'm not going to lag. I forgot we were about to do the podcast and you scared the living <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe there was a scared Stefan face in the image. That'd be pretty funny to see. Uh, it, was, it wasn't really scared. It was more. Hold on, what? What, what are we doing? Uh, <laughs> wide eyed. And, yeah, like, yeah. what are we doing again? <laughs> so, yeah, I believe it's episode 144. I, I'll, I'll verify while we start. Um, but. Yeah, Ryan says it is. He's put it in chat. Perfect. I didn't see it. Oh, I see it now. Uh, my chat's all the way over there, so I have to look all the way over there to see it. Um, but see, I, I am I, correct. I, I, will, I will look after the chat. All right. I'll look after the chat. You you can just be left alone in the ether. Yes, that's that sounds good to me. All right, so we usually start with what's been played, and somehow Darius jumped. He used to be beside me on the on the side that he wouldn't have to start, but now somehow he jumped to the position where he has to start first. So, what have you played yeah, this week, lies. Darius? I've been playing golf with enemies. I mean, from... golf with enemies. Yes, we played that yesterday. We were streaming it yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, we were. Um, to be honest, guys, uh, that's the only kind of thing which I would, I would, I have, I have been playing recently. Uh, wait, well, you, no. I'm you've lying. been away for a little while. You got the PS Five. Yeah, yeah. Th- that's what I'm saying. I was lying. I was playing on PlayStation Five. Um, for a few games. I was about to say, have you even been on the podcast since you've had it? Uh, yes. He was on one Maybe once or twice, but... when he first got it. He, I don't even think he had it. I think he was still waiting for a controller or something the last time he was on. Uh, no, no, for, I did let, have let... the controller. I was waiting for the actual console. Oh, so maybe you didn't have the console. Yeah, it's about to say he was, he was meant to have the console. Oh, no, no, no. no. Yes, he did that. come back. He was off a week. And he did come back the week after, like a week after he got the console. So we got a little bit of an update, but not a lot because he hadn't got much time. Yeah. So tell us about that. Yeah, I can. Uh, Well, it's been having it for a few months right now, isn't it? Um, Still, there is no drift on the controller. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, apart from that, uh, I've been playing quite a few games. Um, the most recent one is Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I'm not sure why I'm so blurry right now. I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> yeah, you you lost focus. It just has the wrong focus. It does not want to look at you. Your hand was clear when it was right up against the camera, which is funny. Get closer. There you go. There you go. You're getting clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's not comfortable to be. At that <laughs> <laughs> it. It, it was fine. Oh, there it goes. That's pretty good. Okay, now... Do you know how off putting this and is? And then he lags out. <laughs> he almost lagged out there. That was funny. All right. Uh, so, yeah. And he's lagged. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I'm fine now. You, you were having lag. I don't know. If, I'm hoping it wasn't just me. My stream seems to be fine. Good. I do look good, man. Yeah. Right. I'm giving. I'm giving. Um, and then his audio freezes again. Stefan has too much light on his face. Yeah, his screen is very bright. That's all because of you. <laughs> the only thing I have Here, on I'll my make screen. I'll make mine dark. Is... So... Make yours dark, Darius, and then it'll be all good. It's not fix. <laughs> it's not fixing it. You're the only one on the stream. It's, it's not. Still... And the only thing I have open is the stream. Literally. Weird. 
Your screen's just got a lot. Oh, it's because your room's so dark. That's the only difference. Shrink them. Yeah, you can shrink them. See, and but it's watch. not gonna. It's not gonna help I, because I've this room is just so dark. And yeah. it's kind of removed some of the light. It's the border around my uh, yeah web my web browser. All right, sorry. But, Back um, to it, Darius. What was he on about? What he's played, but he keeps yeah, lagging out. To me, uh, so <laughs> last time I was playing the ghost. The ghost of Tsushima, like I said, I'm in the ghost. <laughs> ghost of uh, it's a quite not good game, Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, is that that samurai thing we were doing when I was at your you house? No, that small island in somewhere in Japan. Yeah. Again. Was that that samurai thing? Yes, it is a samurai thing. You are the did, samurai. Did, did you play it when I was you at your house? Fight the Mongols. No, I don't. Mate, yes, that's the one. Yes. No, yeah, you have yes. seen me play that at uh, the beginning of. I do not like watching it. Uh, it's quite nice game. Uh, well, it's not for me anyway. Um, what I do like about it is the fighting. It's not as hard as Dark Souls games, but it's not as easy as bashing the buttons. Um, you do have like four stances for your character. Well, you have to unlock them, and each stance is better for different types of enemies. And of course, it's an open world game. Uh, you have shit loads to do. Um, there is no actual map like on the HUD on the display map uh, which you can follow. So if you want to follow to certain directions, uh, you either have to open the map or use the wind uh, to guide you, which is quite cool. So you are able to like kind of zoom on the wind and then by the way by the way the uh, branches turn the trees turn or the grass turn uh, that's the way you have to follow uh, I'm having a hell of a time um, keeping up with yeah, you Darius um, D Darius you're really bad lagging and and everything's lagging the same way I yeah. don't know if it's your connection to this card or... No, I'm lagging. Yeah. Yes. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> you, just, you, you just keep cutting out and then all of a sudden you'll be continuing and then your, yeah, your, your, your video you'll, you'll will catch up like with this. the audio. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, right then. I, like, I've been trying to... Happened between this and that? I've been focusing a lot on just trying to figure out if it's me and also trying to listen to your conversation. <laughs> it's very difficult. <laughs> Uh, should I reset the the? Uh, try yeah, tr uh, try restarting your Discord. I will talk while you're gone, and then we'll get you back in after. Okay. So All right. All right. So, whoa, it's over me now. Um. So yes. Um. Did I introduce everybody? I don't even remember. I don't think I did. No. I skipped it introducing. Uh. Um, we might actually have a fourth person coming in. Um, so I'll do the introductions once we get everybody back. Um, till then, I will just say who I've been, or what I've been playing. I've sort of flipped through a whole bunch of games this week. I, I love the fact you almost put. I'll, I'll tell you who I've been playing. It's like what? Yeah, I've been playing people. That's uh, I'm a, I'm a player. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, I'm a nerdy player. I just like playing mine. He's just I'm, being, games. I'm getting a very dirty look from the other side of the room. Um, you get that even when you're not being a player. Yeah, pretty much. So, yes, what I've been playing. I, I've, I've flipped through a few games because I've been trying to find something different. Um, we did play some Grand Theft Auto and did some heists. Unfortunately, it looks like I can't stream that unless I lower my graphics settings a lot. And I'm back. All right. So like, oh, let's get. 
Oh, don't do that. Darius is giant. Don't do what? <laughs> Darius the giant! <laughs> no longer giant. So yeah, by the, <laughs> by the time you did that, it was too late. Um, so yeah. Uh, right. Like I said, I was playing Grand Theft Auto. We did some of the heists. We got to do some more heists this week because two of us have diamond heists to do, which will get us a lot of money. Um, but yeah. Well, why didn't Davy just play GTA with us? Because he's a racist. We've already decided Ooh, that. No. Um, but nonetheless, um, I also have tried flip. I flipped through a bunch of games. I tried playing a game called Thrive, which you basically or a cell and you start to generate like it, it's kind of like spore you start out as like a little tiny cell and you start to add parts to yourself to survive better and better and better or thrive and uh, i got well, in your case just die uh i only yeah i managed to almost kill myself a few times where if i tried to move i would almost instantly die because i'd use up so much of my energy just to try to my move. He's gone in half my yeah. <laughs> Um But I also learned that the game decides it wants to freeze and crash a lot. I don't know if it's my build or just the game needs some tweaking. I'm not but sure. The game's half built. It, it's an it open needs source. A lot of work. It's a free open source game that they're basically allowing people to contribute as they want, and it, it, it's fun but it does not look like there's a lot to do it seems like it it just needs that work i think it would be a good game once the work's been put into it yeah um i think i completed the game in like 45 minutes and i wasn't even there for half of it um you didn't even and you thought it was a tutorial because yeah. we had no idea what you were doing <laughs> yeah we i really had the tutorial didn't quite really give short. me what was that yeah it's like i said it's oh, a free it's a free open source game, and Stefan has a point. I think it's only like half built, um, but it looked like it was supposed to be like a, a a spore kind of game, which looks like it'd be a lot of fun. I remember spore. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I also played a little bit of what else did I, I played something else this week? Oh. Yes, uh, I played some TFT, but that that's nothing. Uh, the new TFT thing is kind of new TFT. Yeah, it's kind of a a learning curve for me. So I I did okay. I didn't do great. Didn't do bad. Uh, there was one other game I played. I need to pull up my Steam to remember its name. Factory Town, and I believe I streamed that this week. Yes, you um you did and didn't. It was a really bad thing. Was it? I believe that's when your um, thing was having a lot of issues. No, uh, no, that was GTA that had issues. It was it just was that as well. No, GTA was just like I, I watched the video. I ended up deleting the video off, uh, off Twitch just so that Ryan didn't accidentally throw it over to YouTube, and it's just like still images for half the fucking video or for half the stream. You can hear us talking in the background, hey. but it's just like a car, a picture of a car. <laughs> and I was talking, and then I think it's, you were playing that while three of us were playing GTA. Yeah, and literally, it was just an, a still image that would update once every like twenty minutes. So it was kind of strange, but I'm pretty sure the factory town one was okay. I hope it was because I, I didn't remove that video. So if it's bad, Ryan will probably upload it and not realize it. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, it was a it was a Twitch slideshow basically. Ryan's done it. Ryan's already done it, and it was fine. Yeah, I, I thought it was. So yeah, that was that's not a it's not a bad game. I kind of want to try that game again sometime this week. I only did the the first tutorial, so I didn't even really get into a lot of it. Um, I just mined surface resources. Apparently, there's like mines and stuff like mine shafts that you can build and stuff like that. So it looks like there's a lot more to get into on that. So. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Let's try to go back to Darius, because it looks like he's doing all right. He can move around and not freeze up. So uh, we'll see what wait, Darius wait is going to play. Speaks. Yeah, <laughs> as soon as he starts to talk, it's just going to overdo his bandwidth. 
That's that's the problem. Uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Um. Oh wait. So, uh, Sorry. Uh, one pause. I, I forgot to introduce everybody. So l l let's do that now that you're here. So we have Darius to my to my left on the screen, <laughs> and, and then we have me, this guy that I just poked myself in the eye with, and then right below me. I, I like the fact <laughs> for me, yous are the complete opposite way round than yeah. the stream. Darius is here. And you're there on mine. Darius is there. You're there. Oh, I was about to say because that's the way it is on mine. But yeah, all right. And then we have this guy. This 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 guy. This guy. Who's this guy? No, I'm kidding. It's Stefan. Stefan's below us. So, all right. That'd be Net more podcast than both you put together. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I've been in the most lately. Uh, I I can say that. But you've been in all the live ones. We'll give you that <laughs> one. One. I I missed one. Well, it wasn't. It was stream. It was. The video was streamed live. <laughs> the one I missed. But yes. All right, go ahead, Darius. What have you played? Uh, well, as I said, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, Ghost of Tsushima. Friends with, friends with golf. Yeah, friends with golf. We we heard the friends with golf part. So let's go into the Ghost of Tsushima. That that was the part that you lagged out for. It was too advanced for our ears. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Ghost of Tsushima is kind of like action rpg hack and slash kind of type of the game okay so kind of it's like um set... uh, uh sorry i forgot the game name but yeah i i, I think i got it it's yeah, a um... bit um dynasty warriors that's the with, word um, yeah i forgot what the other game with um like as Oh, I forgot what it's called. To be honest, the closest game which I can put it to would be The Witcher 3. Yeah, I'd put it like because Witcher 3 is a bit like Dragon Age in that, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of the same kind of mechanics. You have you have the horse, you have you have the sword. Uh, you have the sword which you can use on four different with four different stances. Uh which each stance is better for a different enemy. And... On its system. Yeah. yeah, but that sounds like um, Dynasty Warriors too. Some of them you could ride horses and stuff like that. Yeah, and same weapons. Yeah, but in the, the, the Nasty Warriors you kind of like facing what, a thousand enemies at a time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a bit more of um, it's more army against army in this. It's more your, um, from what I saw from what you played, you're more the um, rebel and you're basically doing guerrilla hits. Yeah. From what exactly. I could probably tell from it. So basically, so are... it's a small group or an individual going against an army or bigger, yeah. basically. Yeah, so you, you are basically, most of the times, you're fighting against two, three, four, maybe five enemies. Okay, when you're trying to take the stronghold or something like that, yes, there's shitloads of more of them, but... Yeah, those are like you're bosses. Waiting, you're waiting till the night time, and you're trying to do stealth as much as you can. Oh, so there's stealth involved as well, which is kind of cool. Oh, yes. Um, so basically, it's kind of, again, Looking kind of similar feel to, to um, <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Okay. Yeah, I was can be like the similar terms. I, I, in Assassin's Creed, I never did stealth. I just shot everybody. I, I just said screw it. Let, let's put but, it this way: it's in in the terms you just. Oh, sorry, different. not Assassin's Creed. I'm thinking. Um, in the uh, terms Darius is putting it, it's Warframe stealth without the whole downside in Warframe. If you get spotted, it's not that much of an issue. You can easily slash your way through it all and kill them all. In okay. this, if you get spotted, it becomes a lot harder of a game like GTA. Yeah. yeah. It, that sounds like... Basically, um, think of that. It, it can turn, Metal Gear it can Solid. turn Dark Soul-ish quite quickly. Okay. It, sound, it sounds almost like Metal Gear Solid kind of thing. Where you'd sneak around. But if you mm. didn't, it would be a lot harder. It's not. It's not that it's hard on its own. It's just it's well balanced. I would say. Okay. And your character does not does not getting you know the experience for anything like that. Uh, the way you uh, you evolve, uh, you can progress um, through the next abilities etc. Is 
becoming more recognized by the folks. So you're raising your reputation. So it's a bit like uh, Syndicate. Because in Syndicate, you basically built your reputation up and that's what made, got you new stuff more than level or anything else like that. So like they, technically, you do I, have a level. It's your reputation level. Yes, it's a reputation level. So you still get... So technically, in a term, you are still gaining experience to level up to learn new skills. So you're, gain, yes, you're gaining... You, you, it's hard, you cannot kind of like exploit it. You cannot go to one certain point on the map and keep killing enemies. To keep... Yeah, you oh, can't no. just farm. You have to actually yeah, you, go yeah. through the storyline. And you're sort of equal level to the storyline. And kind I'm of assuming thing. depending on how depending on how you do that mission depends on how much you get from that mission. Type thing. Uh, from yes. reputation. There are like small tasks uh, to do. I, like I, I see one to... issue with this. If if you do everything in stealth, how is anyone meant to know it was you? Yeah, how are you supposed to get a reputation <laughs> if nobody knows you did it? <laughs> they just know this guy's dead. <laughs> Well, good question. So I do not know, but the game seems to know. Well, that sounds like you've been having fun with that. Yeah. It's a really nice game. It's really long. Uh, probably take me quite a bit before I will be able to finish it fully. There we go. Now my beard's finally straight. Not Not a giant S. Uh, can you let go of it? Yes, I've let go. Lift your bed up. Lift your head up. Further. I can see your foot. Damn it! You can see my foot? I can see your thumb. Oh. <laughs> see your thumb on your, um, there was knuckle. my finger. There was my finger. I thought you said you could see my foot. I was like, I'm not holding my beard with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> I won't put it past you. Can you even get your foot that high? Only if I pull it up with my arm. No, I no, it was there. Oh, that smells. No, I'm kidding. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to put feet on the cam. We might get banned. It wasn't bear though, so we're okay. Apparently, that's a that's a no go on Twitch. Don't do it. <laughs> Apparently, that's a no go on Twitch. Don't ask me how, but it is. All right, Stefan. Because people have foot fetch. Me and you have also sort of played one thing together this week, so you can go ahead and talk about it, because you've done a lot more in it. What, what Minecraft? <laughs> yeah, more Minecraft. What else is new? With us, it's always Minecraft. We, we, we've, we've been playing better Minecraft. Yeah, literally. Pack. It's literally called better Minecraft. It um, has... Because cliffs and... I forgot what it's called. Cliffs and what? Um, cliffs and something. Cliffs and caves or something, isn't it? Cliff, yeah, cliff, um, cliffs and caves. The one point um, one seven update was originally most of it is coming from mods. Uh, uh has already been introduced. Uh, people have noticed it in the snapshots and made it moddable straight away because people have what it's like to say, "This is how we think it should have worked. This is how it should work. This is." And what they've told us is so a lot of it's already in there. So basically, we're playing. I'd love to say we're playing one point um one seven, seven but um Cliffs and Caves isn't coming in one seven, it's coming in one eight now. Because they've separated it. Really? Since yes. when? What are they doing with one seven then? Separated Cliff you got Cliffs and Caves and then there's another one. And I forgot how they've separated it. Um hold on. Let's see if I can remember that. I'm searching it right oh. now. Uh... Uh, yeah. What's it supposed to have? Uh, 1.17 is the first release of Cliffs and Caves. So it, it looks like it's only going to have part of it. Uh, you named it something else, though. Well, the last time this was so I know the copper and that's coming in. I know that much. Yeah, blocks of copper. Um, blocks of raw metal. Just qu there's quite a lot of stuff that's not coming in. A lot of people have become disappointed with it because of uh, the stuff they want to play with the most is coming in 
1.18. I think most of it... Yeah. Get it right, Stefan. Stop giving wrong information. <laughs> Just means I'm you. Exactly. Um, but, um, it doesn't say when this page was last updated, so I don't know if this uh, information that I got is correct. But it says 1.17, the first release of Caves and Cliffs. But it doesn't say anything about a second. Oh, Mountains. It, mount, uh, mountains are coming out on 17. Okay, so like the Cliffs part of it is going to come out on 17, and then the, the Caves part of it is going to come out on 18. Okay. Yeah, I think it's that way round. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Uh, official name, Caves and Cliffs Part 1. Um, it, there's no description. Uh, Minecraft, But that's a Minecraft fandom wiki. Oh, I wish... Minecraft gives really bad updates, so it's, it's hard to... Uh, Keep up with them. Um, caves and cliffs being slightly upgraded. So um, the update will bring in very of new blocks. Yeah, it's just telling you it's been separated into two parts and delayed. But yeah, a lot of people who are getting the uh, snapshots for part one are not that happy with it because everything they wanted from the main update. Is basically getting moved to the second bit. It's like um, we're getting new cows. I know that much. New biomes, new uh, quite a lot of new stuff coming in. To be honest, yeah, I see this. Today we announced that much of uh, the much anticipated Minecraft Caves and Cliffs update will now release in two parts instead of a singular update. The first part coming up or coming this summer, and the second part will release around the holiday season. So we're gonna have to wait six months after. Um, the first, uh, Caves and Cliffs will release in two parts, and we'll share more details about this coming in each update in the coming weeks, but it doesn't really say much. Um, but they're basically saying it's because of COVID, everything was kind of affected and they mm -hmm. weren't able to make as much, so they focused on one part to get an update out, which kind of makes sense, like, you don't want... Not that people ever, ever seem to get bored of Minecraft. It, like, look at us, we keep playing it. Um, but if, if updates stop coming out, we've seen we really like games, but either nothing comes out or bugs and like small bugs and stuff just start to overwhelm us. And we're just like, it's, uh, it, it we, we end up getting bored of it if, uh, they don't like keep on top of things. And Minecraft itself already takes very long between updates as it is. I guess they don't want to delay it any further. So they're doing half updates, which is kind of cheating. They, they should do it like 17, uh, 1.17 and then 1.175 or something like that. 0.5 when the other half comes out. But no, it's going to be 1.18, which is kind of cheating in my opinion. What, okay. what else have you played, Stefan? Um, GTA with you lot. Um, liar. Basically, found Just out kidding. you can't. You you can't do a stealth heist without me. I can. <laughs> Wait, goes wrong a lot, man. Well, a lot um, of the times it went wrong. Actually, it was sort of partially your fault. But uh, I'm not gonna point fingers. A lot of the times you ran into that bit last oh, room after con? after the EMP went off and. Uh, then, then you blamed us for not coming in when you told us not to right away, and by the time we tried to get in, it was already too late. So, I'm going to blame you for part of it. Poking at the, you. The, the only bit I remember where a lot of it happened is, one, we didn't know where the guards were and we had to go back out to get yeah. the loot. That was one of the biggest headaches. The next one was, I don't know what's happened to GTA, but the guards don't seem to want to patrol. Yeah, they were glitching a lot. They just stand in one spot and basically bugger you up because you can't move without setting off the alarms. Which I think if we probably just wait a bit longer instead of trying to rush out, I think it would probably have moved. That's why it goddamn turned around. Yeah. So just taking forever to do everything. 
Um, apart from that, I've not really done much else. Um, playing better Minecraft with you. Um, I've made my own little villager breeder, trying to build a little villager trading hall now. Um, currently at your little village, trying to deal with sheep and chickens. Oh, you're in, you're in there right now. Um, I'm actually sat on your legs, looking at you. Are you pooping eggs out? <laughs> No, I'm not pooping eggs out. I'm just I think you're at you. pooping eggs out. I, I see eggs coming out of your butt. Okay, if you say that. That one is a golden hen. I've always been the golden hen. Um, I think that's basically all I've really done. I've not really done anything new in Minecraft. The 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 forest next between mine and yours, I I it terrifies me, and I don't want to go in there at night. Um, I'd rather be in a cave in pitch black than be in that forest. Yeah, yeah. So you've I, told me. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the purple forest. But it, it's... I don't want to deal with the weird plant guy that can spawn. The bad thing is, it spawns like three vines that pretends to be like a wall to stop you trying to get away, and then he spawns another thing that shoots poison darts at you. And it's not that easy to yeah, dodge. And then darts are not good. The weird skeleton voodoo man that appears that sets blue fires that doesn't spread. It's the only thing I'm happy for. Because that forest will be long gone by now. <laughs> blue fire. Um, apart from that, not much else. Um, I've been playing a lot of the new... Go on. So is the better Minecraft, Minecraft better? Or... It's... it's better than standard Minecraft, I'd say. Yeah. It's got a bit more to it. Um, It's added professions to villagers that they needed anyway. Like a beekeeper. We need beekeepers and finger. Um, I, I like the guard village. The guard villagers. But mm -hmm. um, I don't know how they actually work properly yet. I need to look more into that mod and see if I can get some to patrol my area. Because any village will have them, but it doesn't seem to be outside. But, um, yeah, currently it's looking, a lot of the stuff's around villages, um, and it's got exotic birds, so there's now things like ducks, penguins, pigeons, um, peacocks, parakeets. Herons. Crocodiles. I've seen crocodiles. I don't know how that fits under the category, but it's some reason there. By the way, never get caught by a crocodile. It scared the living daylight out of me in that game. It tries dragging you away. It'll grab you. Do you like how it did in um, Ark, Terra? How it'll grab yeah. you and like, that, like, spin. spin. Yeah. It doesn't do the spin, but it walks off with you <laughs> and then tries to drown you. Um, well, that's sort of what they do in real life. The spinning's more what like they'll do in real life. And they try to drag. They try to drag you they, underwater. Yeah, but they'll probably spin you before they get you near the water, trying to disorientate you, so they can move you easier and quicker. To be honest, I have a plan on getting that close to one. Yeah, I don't ever want to find out what they'll do to me. Not, not in real life, especially. Oh, so it, it does, um, I, I've searched, uh, about that Thrive game, and yeah, that's the end game, where I was at. So I, I didn't... You were at the end game? Yeah, that that's literally the end game. There is no evolution beyond cells. So that's kind of depressing. Okay. I, I thought there might be more, but there oh, definitely okay. is not. All right. So, have you played anything else that so you want to talk trying about? Trying to be our best. So, you're trying to be a just be our best um, cell. Yeah, you could basically. World, like, call it. Yeah, you could basically <laughs> make a cell that can survive off of, um, off of just photosynthesis. You can be a cell that can survive off of destroying other cells and absorbing what they drop. Or you could just be a cell that has to go around and collect resources from the environment. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, there's really not a lot going on in it, I've noticed. So. Um, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about, Stefan? Or is that all you've really played? Um, that's all I've really... Apart from the new TFT, which is the Hypers Pro, which I made you play the other day. Yeah, I might do some live streaming I've, of that tonight. I've, 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 I think it's a lot better. It's than, a lot uh, faster. Standard TFT. I'm going to hold off to talk it's about that faster. until next week for me, because I want to get a little bit more into it before I talk about it. Yeah, you've only, like, what, played it once? I only played the Hyper once. Maybe maybe twice? No, once. I, I've played it... Hold on. Since it came out. I think I played it twice, okay, actually. Here we go. Nope. Um, I've played it a lot more than this, but one, two, three. Okay, it, it remembers 20 games. All but one game is Hyper. <laughs> So 19 games I've played of it on my list so far. Well, I have a I have a good segue. And um, go on. Who makes TFT? Or what game is TFT in? Um, League of Legends. Well, League of Legends is making an animated series that's going to Netflix. Yeah, I already oh, know yeah. this. So I, I was bouncing into the news. The news! Um, yeah, so... Well, the, the news is it's coming soon rather than last year. Yeah. We'll arrive later this fall. <laughs> but yeah. I, I just had to... Uh, I wanted to segue into that. Because like I said... may be getting its own client. Yes. That, I talked about that last week with Danny. Um, they're going to probably put TFT standalone, which kind of makes sense for people like me that... Is no longer into uh, the rest of League of Legends. Why? Why would I have to download the whole thing? And so yeah, that's what the, um, that's what the phone apps for. Yeah, pretty much. But it, it sucks playing on the phone. It really does. If I had a tablet it to sucks play it on, playing on the phone for some reason the phone is region locked. No, it's not. No matter what account you log into, it is because you couldn't play with us on your phone. Yes, I could. I was able to. Well, not from what we've set it up with Duncan and that before. You had problems with Duncan, but I think he was the problem. I think he was the problem. I, I've been able to do it. Um, I can't remember how I did it. I don't remember, but either way. Because um, we've tried setting a game up where it was just us and would have no other people, and it's never worked out because you like, couldn't get it on. Get it on. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you had to say it. Uh, but yeah, so basically, from what I'm reading on this is... Uh, basically, it's called League of Legends Arcane. And it's going to hit uh, Netflix later this fall, according to the new trailer. Uh, apparently, the trailer's only a few seconds long. I have not seen the trailer, and obviously I can't while I'm streaming. Or else it will put the audio right through the stream, and that would be very bad for everybody. Um but, yeah, that, that's kind of an interesting uh, idea. What else do we have going on in the news? Epic uh, Games versus Apple? Oh, is that still going what on? Did you say? Is that still well, going on? They just hit the cord. It's not oh, still well, going on. They just hit the cord. Oh, yeah. But the better thing is, now Hundle Bundle's going against Valve. Okay, I uh, know that the Val is going for the, um, what is it called, what's the technical term for it? What is Humble Bundle going to do mm, to Valve? Because um, they're saying that because of Steam, Valve technically controls more percentage of the online gaming industry than that they're allowed to do because of Steam. But Steam was yeah, the only one for a while. It's... Yeah, they basically what they're saying is um, Steam have too much power. There is no competitors, and because of it, they exploiting the power to gain more profit. Kind of like this. Yeah, I can see that, but that make. Push yourself out there more. Like they, these other companies, if they want the, that position or they want to 
balance everything out, sort of do what Epic did. Make some, like, giant, like, push. We're going to give away free games, or... Yeah, but come on. Epic didn't really... The Epic Star... The Epic Game Launcher didn't really get that big because of that. It's because they took the big title that was coming out, Borderlands 3, for a year. Yeah, that that really hurt them. But they sometimes that's kind of the way... If you think about it, like, there's a lot of companies out there that are the only ones doing something for a while. And these other smaller companies really struggle to get in there. But once they get in there, they can balance it out. Yeah, but you've still got the other thing. Steam will still have the overall popularity, the overall exactly. community. Even if Epic still keeps giving out this, more people will still be on Steam than there will be on Epic. Yeah, and I guess they have the money to... Moreover, CEO of Epic said uh, they um, they store uh, the app is not profitable and it will not be profitable for the next three to four years. What, for Epic? Yes. They will yeah, not they... earn anything for the next three to four years. Yeah, I, I can sort of see that because like the biggest problem isn't so much that Steam has such a big grasp. It's when games release, they basically say this is how much you have to put the game at. They come out at set rates. Like, why do you think most games come out Canadian seventy nine ninety nine? It's because the people that produce the game say this is the price. Like, this is what you're selling it at. You can't sell it for more. You can't sell it for less. You can put sales on occasionally, but usually for the first while, it's locked in at that standard or that initial selling price, which means all of us are familiar with Steam. We're going to go to Steam to buy our game. We're not going to go to Epic. We're not going to go to um, Humble Bundle or yeah, Humble Bundle's website. Um, we're going to buy it on Steam because that's where we are. And I guess that's sort of what they're trying to fight for. They're like, maybe, but that has nothing to do with Steam themselves. That has to do with the people that are loyal to Steam have used it for years and also the gaming companies. Maybe those gaming companies if you they want... Got the other thing with Steam charges more for a small... A smaller company with Steam ends up paying more than a bigger company who are with yes. Steam. Uh, and that's where I'm saying maybe and the gaming companies... Maybe the gaming companies need to start making a push to going to these other providers. Sort of like Borderlands allowed Epic to buy them out for the first year. More because com- Epic paid a ridiculous price. Yes, but I'm just saying it's like... Not that the, if they had a choice, they would have probably gone, no, Steam's having it. If it was either... Well, if yeah. It was word against word, it would have gone, yes, yeah, Steam's having it. Well, Epic we basically had fact, to... Steam will sell more than you, so go away. Yeah. <laughs> Epic basically did that and spent a shit ton of money to try to balance out what their losses would be for not going on to Valve. But what I'm yeah, saying I mean, is... The companies can pay that much. What I'm saying is these other companies... I think Humble Bundle and Epic and stuff need to reach out to these other companies and say, hey, look, um, we know you want to sell your product, but why don't you come with us and we'll try to make this whole gaming world or gaming shop online gaming store world more fair. We'll give you a bigger percentage of the profit or whatever they can offer. And they have to work on balancing it out. You can't expect the courts to just say, oh no, everybody has to have an equal share. It has nothing to do with the courts. It has to do with us and what we're comfortable with. We've all been on Steam way longer than Epic was even a thing. Way longer than even Humble Bundle was a thing. And Hep- uh, Humble Bundle's been around for a long time. But we all started on Steam because it was the original. It was the original OG. It was the OG. And until they get some bigger titles, like Epic did that big push with Borderlands, like you said. That helped Epic start to take some of the market but they need to they need to entice the games to come there rather than go 
to Steam as a primary. Because it's sort of like when you want to buy some of your... See, the, the whole lawsuit is online. You can read the whole thing. And the main main point of it is the 30% charge what they take in. Yeah. So well, that's the that's the complaint that they are charging they Steam have seventy percent share of PC gaming market. From and they charging thirty percent of those seventy. Uh, the producers, the creators, and that's creating that's what the class lawsuit is about to make to create it more. Because they have so much power, they, because they they control seventy percent of the market, they require they they asking they telling them to lower the earnings. I I so that's that others can compete with them. That's sort of what I'm hitting at is because if they if these if humble bundle and stuff wants more earnings for their gaming like the producer or the the coders and stuff, yeah, the makers of the games, then Humble Bundle should just raise their percentage to 50% of the profits. Then those games would be like, well, I'm earning more here, I can lower my price a little bit on this website, and maybe people will start shopping on Humble. That That's the way the See, world works. The, the, that's the, that's the whole supply and Humble, demand. Though, most of Humble is charity-based. Yes, yeah. um, which really sucks for Humble and because... And Humble Model is not a platform. Yeah, it, it, it basically is. buys the Steam keys. Yeah. And it's not, it true. buys the Steam keys and then resells them for charity. Yeah. And, uh, the Humble and Bundle they're basically Bundle. probably not making anything with half the shit they do. No, nothing, they, they donated most. to do with Humble Bundles. There's nothing to do with Humble Bundles. The creator of Humble Bundle so it opened the class lawsuit against Valve. Which oh, yeah, means I know. that dude put the paper in the court and everyone else can sign under it and take part in it. Okay, so... Basically, so. so basically people like Epic, uh, Bethesda, um, GOG, um, what else I have, Battle.net, they all can sign up to this. Yeah. And take part against Valve. Well, there's so also... What they're trying to do, they're trying to... They trying to lower the power the steam have, so that's seventy percent of the share. Yeah, well, there's lots of ways to do it too. Like, it, it's sort of I, I get where they're trying to come from, but that's sort of the way the business works in this world. And I, I agree, it's it's wrong, but it it's like if you were to buy something online, like a cell phone case, what website are you gonna go to? Anybody? Probably Amazon. Yeah, sorry, say, say again. If you're gonna go on to the, if you need a cell phone case and you're gonna buy it online instead of go to the store, where are you gonna go? Amazon. <laughs> Probably Amazon, I love right? The fact my Alexa just, I love the fact my Alexa just activates for that. <laughs> the first, maybe not necessarily the first, but whoever seems to get into an industry first or. Like, I obviously, eBay and stuff and Craigslist and stuff were out really before Amazon. But Amazon started getting the product to you faster. They started making it more... Yeah, you, they Craigslist made it... and all the rest of it was basically people ran that. It was basically, you had to go collect it or they'll send it Craigslist, to you. Craigslist, yes. Or... You had, it was just people in your neighborhood or nearby. You trading usually. stuff with... Sparkle. eBay focus more on auctions, but it, you could have a store that sold things on eBay. Oh yeah, I know a few people Ama have that. Amazon went fully for buyouts because that's what a lot of eBay was, is people wanting to buy out. They didn't want to wait for auctions. Sometimes they wanted to wait for an auction to get a really good deal, but they would often just buy out the objects or the whatever they were getting. Amazon just said, well, you can make a storefront or you can, well, you can just put your items on our page. And we'll take care of your warehousing. We'll take care of your shipping. We'll take care of all of that. 
eBay had to do it through mail or post or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes courier, depending on where you were getting it from. And Amazon said, no, 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 no. We're going to get our own industry and be able to ship it to you and get it to you quick. So now one of the biggest online buyers is Amazon because they took it the next step. They went for customer satisfaction. satisfaction. Uh, So that's sort of how the industry works. And Steam's sort of in the same boat. They were the first. They have big groups of friends. Like most of like, I, I hardly even know how to use the friends on Epic. Didn't they just add a chat for friends yeah, on they, Epic? they've only just added I'll uh, show what your friends online, see what they're playing. So They needed that to begin with. That's the first thing I hated about Epic. Yeah, like you could <laughs> see your friends, but you couldn't see what they were playing and stuff like that. And some of the games don't integrate that well with connecting to each other. Like, you gotta remember these, the, the 30% that the that Steam takes, they're also allowing games to implement to their server finders and server searches. And they're implementing a lot, like finding friends and joining friends' games, um, watching them live stream. Steam does a lot more in the back end than just a store. And I know they're mostly targeting that store, but you know that store has to make profit for the company so that they can put these other things in. The store is where they make their money. They're not getting donations from their gamers. So, it's... The lawsuit, I yeah, think, is kind of stupid. Smaller, but how smaller companies can catch up to those big ones? It's, you and could say the same thing for Amazon. Yeah. See, no, I, the, the thing another, is... Wait, 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 wait. Another interesting example is... There is a policy if you're selling the game on Steam and other uh, platforms, you have to match the price within a certain amount of time. Meaning, people will not be able to buy cheaper on other platforms. For example, uh, Ubisoft is continuing the Far Cry New Dawn from $39.99 to 19.99 on Ubisoft on for own platform. Uh, s- later on on Steam, three days later, they have to cut it down to the same price. Uh, so that's I think that's one of the big issues with Steam. Um, they should not be pushing people to updating the price on their platform because if they if the people if the other developers trying to create a better environment for themselves and customers like us yes they should be able to cut the price of this game as much as they wish and leave the steam price for the full amount yes but say you were selling apples just the apples that you eat and there's a store right beside you that also sells apples. If they had a sale and they were selling apples for a dollar less an apple than you were, and all of a sudden all of your customers are going over there, wouldn't you match it? Or even try bl- lowering it. Yeah, or try beating them out. That's, I get it. That, that, that's, that's, that's my point. Steam should have matched it, not the developer. I, I get, yeah, I get what you're saying. You're still buying those apples at the same price, so you're you're taking the hit more than the developer. But Steam is probably, so, yeah, because Steam. So no, Steam. No, no, let's, hold on, let's, hold on. Let's, let's go this way. I'm creating a game. I want to sell it for ten dollars, right? I give it the same game to my own website, ten dollars, and Steam, ten dollars, right? However, on Steam, I have to pay 30%. So I'm earning $7 from this. Yep. Where on my website, I'm earning for 10 Right? So, okay, everything fine. However, if I would reduce the price of my website to 
seven dollars to, to make to make one dollar extra profit over the stick so i'm selling on mine eight dollars ten dollars on steam i would be much more happier for people buying from my website than from steam oh yeah however steam steam is not allowing me to do so yeah you'd have to then sell on steam yeah. for eight dollars exactly and yeah i fun. that but I think that has to this do way, more with this way. Smaller, smaller companies will never catch on. Yeah, and Steam won't allow See, contracts it, it, to say you every product you sell, I get a certain amount. So Steam this, says this you're going to get thirty percent. Not really against Steam. It's more about the way Steam runs it. Of small yeah. development seem to have more put on them as for let's say they. The smaller the company is, the more they have to pay to Steam out of their earnings. Bigger the company, less because Steam goes, "You're going to sell more games. We're going to charge you less." Yeah, we'll give you a we'll we'll sell your game. We'll we'll give you forty percent of the pay profit instead of thirty percent. Kind of thing. Steam will say that to the yeah. company. So but getting... while with the other ones, it's like we're we're gonna we you're only gonna get thirty. We're taking the rest. Yeah, we're we're probably wasting our time with you, so we're not gonna give you any special offers. I, I get that, and as a gamer, it. we should get mad. I think for every product sold, the company that say we buy a game from Bethesda through Steam, they should get a standard amount. Based on the initial contract, it shouldn't be a percentage of what it's sold for. So, if Bethesda signs a contract for a game with Steam, and they're supposed to get ten dollars for that game per sale, if Steam puts a sale on, that should not affect how much money Bethesda gets. That should affect Steam. I agree with that, and as a gamer, I definitely agree with that because I'm sorry. What motivates this world? Money. Everything. Mo everything in this world is motivated by money. So, what's to say for these gaming companies to say, well, you know what? Our game is three years old now. Steam's brought the price down. We're getting pennies on the dollar from what we used to get when it sells, and it's not selling very much. Um, so, why are we going to keep updating it? What's the point? We might get a small influx of people, but so many people already have it. That's why all these DLCs, like uh, paid DLCs are coming out. And that's the only way to keep people spending a bit of money on games that they've already got for them to keep updating. If they don't put out a paid DLC, they're not making much money. Like, they may put out a major update. Well, compared to a release, how many people are they actually getting? Not very many, probably. They're like an initial release. Let's say they get a hundred thousand people on an initial release. Then they do a major update. They might get ten thousand new people. It's like a ten percent gain of new products. So I see what you're saying, and as a gamer, I, I don't like it because the gamer, the gaming people, or the coders that are making the games, aren't enticed to work on the products that they have. They're enticed to make new ones because on new releases is where they make their money. That's when they sell at the highest price and unless they're just in love with the, the, the program that they've made, they're not enticed to sell. Yeah. Or they're not enticed to keep it going, which means games only last... They, they have a shelf life, basically. They only last so long. And then they expire and they have to make something new. So, yeah, I, I agree. Unless they make it pay to win or a lot of in-game purchases. Which kind of sucks as well. well pay we've... to win seems to have moved all over to the phone. Yeah, pretty much yeah. everything on the phone is pay to win. No more. I have well, not seen pay to win game on you, PC. You want to or... play, play Clash? Pay to win. You want to play Mafia Wars? Pay to win. <laughs> mm. So should we uh, hit up a few more bits of news, or do you yeah, want to get out of here? We've been, this is a, one of the longest yeah, podcasts we've had in a while. Think. I got two more news articles. One I'm not too interested in, but a big one. We all heard that Microsoft was talking about a Discord partnership, but uh, they weren't sure about it. 
Um, they were thinking about in implementing, uh, from my understanding, they were thinking about implementing uh, Discord as the primary chat service in some of their games. Um, that would help implement audio chat and text chat rather than making their own audio and text clients, which in some games doesn't seem to work very well um, or is very awkward to use. So they're hoping that uh, working with Discord, it would assist that. Well, it looks like from this news article um, that Microsoft declined the offer. Oh, because Microsoft wanted to buy it out. So uh, Discord declined it. Mm -hmm. um, but another major player has gotten into it as a partnership instead of uh, instead of buying it out. And that major partner is PlayStation. They, they've announced that they are partnering with uh, the messaging platform Discord. And it looks like they might use it uh, as, like I said, sort of their chatting between. Like, we all know that PlayStation and Xbox has their own uh, chat and voice chat system in it. So you can talk to your well, friends and stuff. Strange but... enough, if they actually join it up with Discord, your Xbox can already be joined to Discord. It, all it's going to do is open it up for you can actually speak cross-platform a bit. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how the Xbox One works because I've never tried Discord on the Xbox, but I... Um, Sapphire says it sucks. So yeah, I just heard that. <laughs> it so sucks. who knows if it runs properly in the background when you join games and stuff like that? Like, I can see it working fine as like a full screen program, but I know consoles don't really like things running in the background that aren't built in to the operating system. So this uh, merger should at least make it almost streamless with PlayStation because it should be built in. To the PlayStation frameworks. The best thing is, one of the discussions Microsoft to buy Discord like yes. last year. Uh, we're... no, I... well, everything seems like it was last year uh, with the coronavirus and everything that's going on. I think it was about <laughs> six months ago or something that that was big. It says it was earlier this year, but I feel like it was yeah, like I said, like six months. Well, I guess six months ago was last year, so um. On this and yeah, I don't. I thought it was longer than that too, but yeah. Yeah, and it, this, and the twenty sixth kind of, of March. <laughs> and and this kind of buyouts are not something which will happen over a week. According to this, this was three months ago. Yeah. No, no, two months ago. I, I thought it was. I didn't think it was that long ago. Yeah. Um. But. Because every single like big companies where they're trying to like merge or something. They have to do for lots of hoops. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not an easy uh, procedure, especially if like merging is huge, buying out is also huge, unless you're going to let them be their own entity. Um, but it's still not an easy task. Um, collaborating like what PlayStation's doing is probably the easiest way. Oh, so, because yeah. you don't, the both companies are still Less, their own company. Um, paperwork. Yeah, the the main reason, <laughs> from my understanding, the main reason that Microsoft wanted to buy out Discord was more they were worried that Discord would go under, and then they'd be left st like without any like they'd have to all of a sudden hop back into making their own audio. Like, what happens all all these games, especially on like console, relies on this chat function? Then those games are now useless if Discord's no longer a thing. Um, so Microsoft said, well, we want to buy it. PlayStation, that's going to be a big problem. They must have some sort of clause where they can use, like, the last version of Discord or whatever, the last version that works with their games as if Discord goes under, which we are pretty sure Discord's not. Like, they're pretty huge now. They're pretty confident or controlled now. But... Um, that was one of their biggest, Microsoft's biggest things is they wanted to own it. That way they could just keep the staff on for as long as they needed and basically yeah, make Discord this, them own. The chat basically started at the beginning of March of this year. 
Yeah. And was basically told no by the 23rd after we all found out it, they were offering $10 billion. $10 billion Microsoft offered to buy Discord. That shows how well Discord's doing if Microsoft offered them $10 billion and at, they didn't take At this take point, it. I think if they were worried that Discord was going to go under at this point, I think they were a bit wrong already because of, they offered way too because much of what's happened with the world. I think they didn't offer enough. With That's true. With world, coronavirus and everything. Yeah. They have been used more. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's that's the news. Yeah, you'll find more people with boosters, with nitro, with things like because they want to provide better quality. Some companies are buying it yeah. for their own things. For that means you can have a conference call in HD at the highest quality they can get. Yeah. Without having to jump a bunch of hoops through other chat services. Yeah, Zoom and stuff like that where... You have to give out link codes and stuff like that, and you also have to pay to have a channel that has more than so many people. And Discord people get to choose if they want to pay for it. It's an option to give you some benefits, but for the most part, if you don't have it, you don't need it. So I think that's all the news that we got. Um, anybody else have anything else that they want to talk about? Nobody? Well, well, okay. I'm reading the article from the when Microsoft was actually trying to buy Discord. And the, even the people who written the article put at the bottom of it, even though they were well known for a gaming community for people for videos, voice chat, and texts, as, it's, as we've all become from the pandemic stuck at home, has also now been a technology for study groups, dance classes, club um, book clubs, and other virtual gatherings. Basically, Discord's become more popular, and I still don't think they offered enough. No, they million. definitely didn't. They didn't offer enough. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't offer enough, or else Discord would have taken it. Like I, I still don't think. I think Discord. I think the thing with the PlayStation was only there on the table. Yeah, and it was more the thing of if we take that, they're definitely not. We're definitely going to be able to do this. It, it could also be that Discord doesn't want Microsoft to basically just tear apart their whole team like, oh yeah microsoft will definitely do that yeah <laughs> you'll find out half of them are on um freaking what you call it snapchat and all the rest of it yeah or whatever else freaking microsoft own nowadays especially like microsoft has its own bad rap and everything like that so maybe discord also like the discord team doesn't want to deal with that and everything so there, there's yeah, so playstation playstation has its own yeah, but... But then it's not the buyout PlayStation's doing, so... No, buy, uh, PlayStation just Play, makes a partnership, Play, PlayStation so... PlayStation's what a partnership. Yeah, which will be beneficial in both. Like, obviously, PlayStation's gonna pay a certain amount of money per year or something to use their services or something like that, whatever the partnership is. Um, But, yeah. I, I'm glad to hear that, because I didn't... I'd to know how much they're actually getting from the partnership. I would hate to actually have discord being run by microsoft yeah that i think that's a lot of what discord's uh fight was it's just like there's a lot of people out there that are worried about microsoft and stuff like that especially like look, look how many people are worried about microsoft stealing their personal information through windows and stuff like that imagine all of those people now but no then... longer use discord because how many people use discord through I... linux like then they'd be opening their system up to Microsoft again. They don't want to do that. Sure. I I can see a lot of this from Sony though being their players wanting Discord. Yeah, I I can guarantee it. They're probably saying, because "Look, we chat, want the chat system on PlayStation was terrible." <laughs> I I haven't played a system in forever, there. so I I can't say much about that. But uh, well, when I used to play it, you you were better off. Just trying to find a room and all of you's having your TV. Basically, lamp. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, this was one of our longest podcasts in quite some time. An hour and 15 minutes. It's half an hour longer than we usually try to go. So I think we can call it a night. And if you like what you hear or uh, wow. want some more of our heated debates. 70
By surveys, by the way, 78% of people who use PlayStation are aged between 16 to 65. I would... What's the last 21%, 22%? 60... <laughs> I, I don't know. But like that, that's eight year the olds, <laughs> eight year olds, I guess. Because over sixty four, there's not going to be that many people playing, so it's got to be under sixteen. No. But it, yeah, it, there won't be that many people playing until our generation gets to that age. Yeah, and then we'll be the generation be, that put it to like, to like ninety two. <laughs> it'll be or no, it'll be like sixty four to ninety will be like a hundred percent because nobody else will be playing. <laughs> it'll just be our generation. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, anyways, if you like what you've seen, uh, like, follow, subscribe. Is, that's just in the USA, by the way. Yeah. Um, if you liked our heated debate that that made this podcast <laughs> last a lot longer, um, uh, give us some comments. Let us know. Um, strange enough, we've not had one like that for a bit. No, we really haven't. We haven't hit a decent. There hasn't really been a lot of decent news topics besides the like epic thing. Um, I think we had a little bit of a debate and on that. And that's just trying to get bothered now. Yeah, well, that's it's all old news now. I think the first time it got mentioned, I think the stream was pretty long. And then it got mentioned again. It wasn't as big as a thing. It, a lot of stuff just got re-mentioned again. Yeah, and then we got and to then the it next got point. And again. Yeah, the next point, it was just like, oh, yeah, that's still going on. <laughs> that was pretty much all we hit. Yeah. But that's still going on. It's it, been it was, going on for years now. Who else has signed up for this? Or who else has dropped out of this? kind of thing but yeah so this because i know for a fact apple are trying to drag valve into that same situation yeah because apple want valve on their side to go they don't do it neither should they <laughs> yeah type thing and, well and, and St- valve's like no we're staying out of this <laughs> <laughs> Between you and Epic, deal with it. Yeah, we don't want eyes on us. <laughs> we don't want eyes on us. But um, I actually do think Apple has put into the cart that um, so um, Valve does have to send them something to do with the contracts because My- it's just they they're trying to say Steam and Epic have the same contract for their games or whatever or Valve or whatever and. They're trying to say, because Epic's trying to bypass the Google Star, or the Apple Star. To be honest, they are bypassing the Google Star as well. Google just kind of went, yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah. We- we'll just get rid of you. It's easy. <laughs> um, but because Steam isn't, or Valve, or whatever, partly what would be called of it for this, um, Apple are basically saying, we want you basically there as a character thing of, well, they do it. They don't. They don't cheat us. And that, I think they're just like, they're going, well, we don't want to do this because I think we have been cheating you and we don't want you yeah. to find out now. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these things that you're talking about them doing is sort of what we do, just kind of we, we, backwards. <laughs> we, we've been doing that, but what we just been telling you is that we sold this much instead of we sold a lot more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, like... It's all down to money. Yeah, like I said, that that's what motivates everybody. So hopefully the money can go where the developers are because that's what's really going to bring the profits up. Uh, if companies can would some start, money come here. Yeah, can, can some money come to this like section yeah, but of people? <laughs> if the money if the money goes to the people producing the products, then the product's going to be better, which means more people are going to buy it. And I, I'm hoping that's sort of what the lawsuit basically is trying to do. It's trying to get the money to the people developing the product. That way you get better product. And we all want the better product because then we're going to invite our friends. We're going to... You say that, but then what's going to happen is another cyberpunk. Yeah, pretty much. Where they're going to hype us up so much to want it in it, and then them to go, shit, we can't deliver it in the time schedule, but we'll still send it out because we have to. Yeah, but you got to remember, <laughs> go, you there'll be more motivation if the companies are making more money. But then again, the CEOs of the companies are going to make all the money, and the people that are doing the coding still aren't going to be making much money. So, and you'll probably find out the public still aren't going to hire more to just to cover. No, to like I said, all that money is just going to go to the CEO. Any extra money is just going to go to the CEO. Yeah, <laughs> it's not going to go to the people doing the oh. work. Well, you say the CEO. Let, let's go with um, people who own the most shares. Yeah, some of the companies are yeah. share based, but 
the shareholders. All right. Well, this has gone on long enough. Um, like, so, like, share, subscribe if you if you like what you've seen. And audio versions of this podcast are going to be available on anywhere you can get a podcast. And this video will be if you want to watch the video and see our our pretty faces and my S shaped beard. Um, hey, maybe I should put a line down the middle and it could be a dollar sign. There we go. All right. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel, I feel like Grand Theft Auto or Grand Theft Auto kind of beard there. Um, but yeah, Dye uh, the, your hair pink. I don't have enough hair to do that. My hair um, hasn't got that much hair in GTA. It's fine. But um, yeah, and the video version of this will go onto YouTube tomorrow. That's May the Fourth be with you. Um, for those of you that are not watching us live, and everybody, may the fourth be with you. And of course, my uh, new trusty remote control did not work, so may the fourth be with you. <laughs>